Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Vacuumatica 2023 R1, we're going to follow up on a video we did previously in the preview of Vacuumatica 2023 R1, and where we talked about mixed orders. Mixed orders is kind of a new term. We didn't use it in the previous video. We were talking about the ability to, when you're creating RM documents, RMA documents, the ability to use different quantities. And we talked about the enhancement of being able to use these negative quantities or positive quantities instead of having to change, for example, the type of line it was, issue or receipt. But what wasn't available at the time when we did the video is the ability to create a payment or a refund on the fly. So this is a simple exchange, or going to be as soon as I change this quantity to five, where now it's an even document. So there's no money going in and out. But based on what you're returning and based on what you're shipping out, or based on any kind of return fee, so let's say, for example, we have a restocking fee on this. We're exchanging it, but essentially the customer wants something different, maybe a different color or something like that. So if that's the case, and we go over here, put $15 in, then we have an order total of 15 in total. And if we go to payments, over here we could take the payment for it of $15. But let's say, for example, instead, this was a nuisance, we shipped out the wrong item, and now we're replacing it. Of course, this would be different item codes and all that. But let's say it was some sort of refund amount and we could use minus one here. Now we have a negative amount. And what Acumatica does, if we go to the payments tab, it now gives you a create refund button. In addition to that, there's also delete payments. So you could delete or detach payments from this RM mixed order type document. So it gives a far greater ability to manage the money going in and out for this document, whether it's a refund or a payment. And this could be long before you do any invoicing, right? Because we're in the order document. Keep in mind, the user can delete a payment or a refund if it hasn't been released already. Obviously, if it has, then you need to reverse or void that payment. And of course, for more details, feel free to reach out to us We'd love to give you more information or help you through what you're trying to accomplish. There's also additional information in the release notes or in the help documentation. So I hope you found this video useful. This is an addendum to the video where you can use negative quantities. We didn't quite call it mixed orders, but that's what they're calling it. If you like the video, please click the like button. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.